Welcome to TechSeed Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about recursion in JavaScript. Just like many other languages, JavaScript also supports recursion. And it's a little different than uh, some of the languages. So we are going to understand uh, what recursion is and how to write recursive code in JavaScript. And then, then we are going to look at some of the problem that happens because of recursion so you can avoid it recursion in nutshell is when a function calls itself from inside of its own body so let's say if I have a function called X and when it calls itself uh, from inside this is called recursion uh, let's say you want to add number one two three you know all the consecutive numbers up to n and n could be any large number so if I want to do it in a for loop I would just simply define the total first and then we are going to inside we are going to say total plus equal to i at the end of the for loop, I say uh, console.log total. Now we don't have n yet, so I'm just going to put 3 for now and run it. So if I add 3, uh, so 1 plus 2 is 3, and then 3 plus 3 is 6, so I'm going to have 6, right? So I run it, I would get 6. So here, uh, but in order to find the pattern here, the pattern is basically the last total, which is 0 in the first uh, line, and we are adding the next value, and that gives us the next total. So I can write this in a, in a functional sense, this way. So where P1 plus 2 equal to P2. And so Pn minus 1 plus n equal to Pn. So I'm going to create a function add equal to function. And within this function body, uh, I'm going to say uh, return n plus add n minus 1 as we looked at in the previous slide. So I can simply say if n is less than equal to 0, this recursion stops. Return 0 because return n plus add n minus 1. So if I run add 3 I should get 6 and here sorry if I run here I get 6 now let's look at what really happens here so when I say add 3 uh, this actually gives me 3 plus add 2 right it returns this actually because if I pass 3 here it would give me 3 plus add 3 minus 1 that's 2 here right now what happens in the net next it uh, loop a cursive loop is add 2 get converted into furthermore so this would be again 3 plus now 2 plus add 1 And now add 0 is nothing but 0. That's where we return back 0. So uh, this becomes 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 equal to 6. When I call uh, add 3, it holds I'm not exiting out of this uh, add function until all add 2, add 1, add 0 gets executed. So I'm still inside this function. Okay. 
until a point where it returns at zero, which is zero, and then it kind of releases uh, the function, right? So technically, I can convert this into a uh, deep nested function. So let's do that. Let's say if it's if I'm passing three into this function, and this is the add function, uh, what is going to happen is it's going to say uh, three plus function We are adding only three numbers, right? What if we're gonna add? What if we add like thousand numbers? Uh, what would happen? If I add thousand number, then this function loop, nested function loop, becomes thousand times deeper. Uh, it's actually uh, keep you know building function inside until it reaches zero. So you're gonna have too many functions, nested functions, and that could be a problem. Uh, in order to understand, let's say uh, I have three functions. I have third, second, and first. Uh, they're independent function. I'm not putting anything in the body, just you know, just to uh, explain how it works. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna execute these three functions: first, second, and third. Now internally, in, internally, uh, JavaScript has what is called execution stack. So when I run this first function it puts this function into this execution stack uh, for it to execute, right? Uh, once it finishes, then it gets uh, taken off of the stack and then the, the second function gets on the stack. So stack is basically uh, L-I-F-O, means last in, first out. So initially you have this global uh, execution context, right? And then you you have the first function, so you put it on the on the it would put it on the stack, then it gets removed because of the function gets executed. Then the second function gets on the stack, and it gets executed, so it's taken off. And then the third function comes in, and that function is get executed. So the stack here is always uh, empty, almost like a, a few things on a stack, uh, because of you know you executing function by function. So instead of doing this. I only execute first. When I execute first, it goes on the stack, and then, uh, but it won't finish because from inside I'm executing function second, right? So then this function would get on the stack, and but it won't finish because the third function gets uh, on the stack, and once the third function gets executed, then then the third function would go off the stack. Then the second would go off the stack, and then the first would go off the stack. So when the last function gets executed, then things start popping off the stack. So here it would be like a global execution. First function goes on the stack, and then the second function goes on the stack, and the third function goes on the stack. Now let's bring up our recursion example back. So here, uh, when I do f3, add 3, uh, it's it will have the similar third it will call two, call one, and so it's for, um, uh, it would have, the length of this would be uh, four stack high. Now, if, if you have, let's say, thousand of, add thousand, you will have a stack that is high as thousand, and uh, you won't, it won't start pulling out of the stack until you have the last, uh, which is F0, right? It's bad because every browser have a maximum limit where it can support um, in a in a in a stack, and so beyond this limit, you would get uh, an error called uh, a stack overflow. In a current version of Chrome, if I do add, let's say, one five, if I run this, I would get an error called maximum call stack size exceeded. If I say, let's say 15,000, then I'm getting. So um, this stack right now is probably 15,000 high. And it's still giving me an answer. But if I add a few more, it would start. And it depends on a browser. Each browser has a different limit of maximum 
uh, stack size that it can support. Um, so 15,000 is not a large number if you're doing a programming, right? So there is another solution which would be um, called tail call optimization. In the next version of uh, JavaScript, uh, they are fixing this um, using called tail, uh, tail call optimization. So I would suggest not to use recursive uh, programming as much as possible because currently JavaScript doesn't do a good job at it. So that's all folks. I uh, hope you learned something from it. And if you did, uh, please like, subscribe and uh, comment. Thank you.